The plain is Jane. This is one of my favorite comments here. She says, I loves me some black. And she said, loves me some black news. She says, is it just me or does anyone else get tired of seeing people that don't look like them delivering info about them day in and day out? I'm your girl, the plainest Jane. And let's see what's happening in these virtual streets. You ready? All right now. <laughs> this will be a crazy ride. I'm warning you now. What up and welcome back. I'm Jane, the plainest Jane, and I serve syrup in the form of black news and celebrity updates. So, you know, things are always sticky in Hollywood and in real life. And today we have an exclusive story straight out of Maryland. Y'all know I'm over here in Baltimore, Maryland. But there has been a photo that went viral yesterday between yesterday and today and there's a deeper conversation to be had about it listen racism is hidden in our everyday lives and so for the first time let me actually put it on the screen <clears throat> the family of this child is speaking out i posted this on the community tab earlier for you today you might have seen it on the neighborhood talk and if you're a real baltimore native then you might have seen it on a lot of the baltimore news pages and this is really unacceptable when it comes to what this child um, was subjected to when they were at school okay and so basically i'll go ahead i'll read the caption and we're going to hear exclusively first time they've spoken out from this child's mother or the, their family okay so this child they're in elementary school and there's a crook like a crook like a cane around this child's neck and this is an exclusive so hit thumbs up and make sure you share this video with somebody if you want some insight as to this and so the parent uploads this and says am i tripping my son's teacher sent me this and said the bishop came to chapel today and your son volunteered to be a sheep laughing emoji it was so cute and the parent is like angry like you don't know how i feel about this with the broken heart emoji and you can take a look and see that uh you know if a child wants to play a sheep putting putting a cane or a crook around their neck definitely isn't um, the adult way to go about it. And so again, when we take a look at this side by side comparison, we can see exactly what this would symbolize. A child may not know, but an adult definitely knows what this symbolizes and how rude and how wrong it is. And so I want to present to you all the parents um, or, or the mom and the family of this student and really hear exactly what they're feeling, how they're feeling and what's being done about this. So make sure you support this stream, hit thumbs up. We're gonna give a lot of information away and see how we can participate in really trying to make noise about calling out how wrong, how rude, how ignorant this is. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some gaslighting involved as well, as far as it was innocent or it was harmful, but look, Without further ado, let's go ahead and hear from the family of this innocent child. Drop some pancakes down below in the chat and let's get into our special guest in our exclusive interview for this evening. The following video is broadcasting live and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. All right, so we are here. Thank you so much for joining me today and allowing me to just ask you some questions. So let me just start with this. This was this was yesterday, right, that this happened? Yes. Okay. And so let me just start with this because I know it's got to be, especially when something goes viral online, whether it's good or bad, there's always two sides to it. So how are you... How are you doing? How are you feeling? And how are you coping with a lot of discourse being had about this incident? Well, what's going on with the family now is, um, just like you said, we've taken a lot of backlash as well. People misunderstanding everything. You can clearly see that it's a shepherd's staff. 
I mean, we, I mean, I'm 47. I, I'm old enough to know as a shepherd staff. We clearly get that. My nephew did volunteer. Um, let me start off by he's five years old. Oh, okay. So he, he volunteered to be a sheep. Now, as a five year old, he wear costumes at home, Batman, Spider Man, everything. So a five year old, yes, he did volunteer to be a sheep. He honestly thought he was going to put a costume on and actually be a sheep. Our issue is that everybody's taking it out of context because they say you're straight jumping to racism. My problem is our family is look what the picture projected, okay? Out of everybody that's commenting and saying all these things, even whether it's negative or positive. Look what that image, if you just look at this picture and see this image, what would you think? So right. even if it was a play uh, uh, in Candyland, this is not the time and age that we're going through in 2023 to put this type of image up. If he would like to fake like he was a sheep, you could have used a pretend sheep. You could have actually let the child hold the stick and put it around his neck if he wanted to be a sheep. I mean, he's an adult, he's a child. So why couldn't another child hold the other end of that stick so at least the projection didn't look like he was being dragged, okay? Yeah. But when we talk to my nephew and ask him, we just ask him, how did he feel and what happened? He honestly said what a five-year-old said. Oh, he put the stick around my neck and dragged me. So why would he use the word drag, okay? Yeah. Let's get that straight. A five-year-old is not going to do nothing but tell the truth, okay? We asked him what he did. He said, I just put a, a stick around my neck and dragged me. So even it, let's keep it, let's leave a racism out. Let's leave what it looked like out, okay? Why did you choose to put it around his neck, okay? And it was other, not to be ignorant or anything, it was 10 other Caucasian children in that class. Right. You chose the one black kid that was sitting there. Now, don't get me wrong. It, it is a couple of more black children in that class. But the school is predominantly white. And then on top of that, that's like no employees there that is black that work in the whole school. Okay, so what was the lesson that you was teaching a five-year-old? You tell me, what could you possibly teach a five-year-old, even about a shepherd being dragged by six? I have looked through the Bible. I have tried to research it between yesterday and today. I have asked questions. I have not found one insight on showing me where you drag a sheep with by, with a staff. Now, now it has been done, but you have never seen them take a child and use him as a guinea pig, whether you was pulling a sheep or not. I left out all the racism when I was just talking to you. Might I add, I had a, I have a whole Caucasian mother, okay? My dad is black. So let's put that on the table. We are mixed. We dealt with racism our whole life. But I'm leaving racism off the table right now. I'm asking you as an adult, would you drag a child by a stick just by the way it looked? Let's just right. leave it as simple as that. Would you drag a five-year-old child with the stick? And mind you, look at the background of all them smiling faces. Yes, people. they were too look happy. Look at all them smiling faces. What color the, I mean, look what color they are. You understand? And they say the devil wears sheep clothes. So are you, what lesson are you showing me and a five-year-old child that I have to explain to him why did this man just pull in a sheep? And not only that, nobody asked us this one question out of everybody who commented. They asked, they never asked us, was my nephew hurt? Well, let me tell you something. He said his he, that hurted him, dragging him by his neck, okay? That hurt him. So even if you was showing a play, you really still hurt him either way. And if you look at his face, it's kind of swollen a little bit because you can see where he yoked up with it. Mm-hmm. Look at the picture. Blow it up. His Look at his cheeks. Look at his cheeks. So he's just confused, but look at all them smiling faces in the back. Look what color they is. Mm -hmm. But you walking a sheep. 
So let's just say it's not racism. You're really walking the sheep. Why would you do that? That's look at that picture. It shows in itself what she was trying to portray. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't he put that same staff around his waist, ma'am? Yeah. I'm just asking, you know, because we have a lot of questions. But the first thing people is jumping on us saying, where was the mother? He's in a private school, ma'am, that she paid good money for, ma'am, to try to give him a good education. See, everybody's like, why you just put him in, in private school? I mean, public school. He, at least he would only got injured. At least he would only got injured. That's what we're telling our kids to make this normal, normalcy for our children to go to choose public school. You only get beat up. You choose private school. You're getting molested or racist. So, I mean, what do we supposed to do as a parent? To send our I mean, kids to school I just can't even believe education? that that's a part of the conversation is, well, why didn't you choose public or private? The fact of the matter is that there was an adult because bad things can happen in a public or private school or and appropriate private. things can happen. So the fact that people are sitting here debating whether it's public or private, is re it's completely asinine to me because number one, regardless of what school you and your parent isn't going to be able to be there with you 24 seven to protect you from some of the texture and the nuance of the racism that's hidden in our everyday lives and how they use a child's innocence to get some of that off. Like that, that's ridiculous to me. I, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine what like what you're dealing with. And then this has a nerve to be a school that has some religion infused into it. This is why people be turning away from the church because mm -hmm. I, like this, this is out of control. Um, so, okay. I know you've been dealing with a lot. You've been dealing with the online backlash or, or, or the people coming at y'all, like it's y'all fault. Mm -hmm. Um, the fact that it actually happened and then trying to keep your emotions intact. What is the, most angering thing out of this ordeal for you right now see we will we we actually recorded a statement today by the uh pastor of the school okay okay and we can't release it because he refused the you know if you even see he refused for the um interview by so news, yeah. by the news people or whatever the case may be, they all, he all, you know, denied and told them that he's not speaking. But the news lady looked at him and said, are you going to apologize? He said, he's not going to apologize for nothing. That's his exact word. The, he the teacher? Not, he, he, the principal. No, I, no, mean, no, I mean, no, not the principal. The priest, he's like the, the priest, priest of the school. Of the school. He said, okay. he's not going to apologize for nothing. So the news lady clearly said to him she said well, um you're not going to apologize for the image you portray we understand you're saying it was a sheep you're not going to even apologize for the image that you're portraying to these people and he said no and he also so my sister joked with him and said well why you ain't never invite us to your church and his exact words but again this is hearsay he said his church is segregated so we're trying to read up and look what segregated of a church means in 2023. He honestly said his church is segregated. So I'm reading up because I, I, I'm, I'm maybe not educated enough to understand what segregated in a church mean right now. I know what it meant back in the day, but I want to know what it means today. Cause segregated by color, class, money, yeah, like. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me say it right. He said he can't control how his church is segregated. Oh. So he lost me with that because all we said was, "Why wow, we're not invited to your church?" He said. He said, "Why he?" We said, "Why we wasn't never invited to your church." He said he can't help the way that his church is not segregated, is what he said. So this is going from a sheep, a sheep staff, you know, your current supposed to be a sheep, mm -hmm. to you're blatantly telling me something about segregation when we're right here in front of your school to talk to you about a segregated look that you used a slave staff 
basically for a five-year-old child. And again, I'm still just saying it. It was a sheep staff. Remember, we're going to leave it as that. We're not going to say it's racism. But again, what did he portray that it was? He even said he's not apologizing, ma'am. He said he's not apologizing. Okay, so, so this is... are you? So I saw that you all were posting the name of the school on social media. Are you still yes. comfortable with saying the name of the school? Oh, it was St. Peter's Catholic School of Bel-Air Road. Saint Peter's. And Baltimore, Maryland. St. Saint Saint Peter's. Peter's Elementary. St. Peter's Elementary in Baltimore, okay. Maryland on, Be um, on Bel-Air Road. Okay, now is that Catholic or? It's Lutheran. Lutheran, okay. It's, it's a Lutheran church. Well, and it's a private school. And, and it is, it is, now listen, it is other, okay, now let's, let's be honest. It is other black students there, okay? But now that we put this story out, one uh -huh. of the parents even took their, their student out as well because they said they, they felt the racism some to certain instances they was going through, but they said they decided to keep their child in it because the school was almost over. But they said this confirmed what they already had thought. So they have removed their child as well from this school. I mean, as of today. And they closed and the school down as well. No one has reached out to to the mom yet. No, no one has reached out and said, well, look. Maybe you took this as a misunderstanding. Maybe you took this instant wrong. Maybe you're doing too much. We're asking you a question. What, what can we do? What should we do? I'm thinking about this question because you're, you're, we're, I'm trying to personally say that let's leave racism out of it. But at the end of the day, look what you just showed and then your actions afterwards not at least talking to us and try to give us an answer, which maybe if they, oh, by the way, we asked for more pictures. There was no other pictures taken of their other child doing their other scene in this thing now, okay? Where's the other pictures at of like other children just doing other stuff? Because, oh, by the way, the pastor said that, oh, uh, he had that around his neck, but I poked three other kids with the same staff. He oh, said he yeah. So them. let's see it. Let's yeah, let's see the proof. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So let's see it, okay? If y'all had a beautiful day, a beautiful sermon, ma'am. You was look, everybody in the back, look at all them say, I mean, all the people in the back, they smiling and everything, right? Y'all had a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Why is the only picture y'all took? Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, did did do you understand the picture came from the teacher? And the um um let with it said. It said Bishop came to the school today and Chavez volunteered to be a sheep with a laughing emoji. Mm -hmm. And no, wait a minute, excuse me. She said, Isn't this cute? It said the laughing emoji. Okay. Where's the other children having fun, ma'am? The the other it's supposed to be other children now participating in this because it's supposed to be three other children that was on the floor that he had poked with this mm -hmm. same uh staff. Where's the pictures of that, ma'am? Where is the where is the pictures? It's like to the order. Where is the pictures of these other children having fun and 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 portraying a sheep? Where's these other pictures? You they haven't gave it to us yet. They haven't reached out to us yet as a family. We're waiting for the um in um WACP to get in touch with. They supposed to got in touch with us today. We're waiting for them because. Again, if we're leaving racism, let's like I told you when we first started, leave racism out of it. Why we still haven't been to explain till today, even today, what what's been going on? Why is this picture looking like this? Why did you post this picture? Like, I mean, what 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 did subject you to only take this picture, but did take a picture or a video of the, this whole program? So something is not right. Oh, by the way. My nephew, I'm going to keep just saying my nephew because I don't want to keep throwing his name up there. My nephew came home yesterday and said, oh, my, is they going to put me in chains when I go back to school? Mm. <laughs> now he think he going to be in chains when he go back to school as a five-year-old. And now we got to sit down here and explain to him what to do. We got to explain to a five-year-old about racism. How do you do that? 
I'm, I, I need guidance. I need. I mean, you, you you got to explain about racism, and then when you talking to the school, they trying to gaslight you into thinking that it's not racism. <laughs> I hate, yes, I, like, ma'am. That, and like I me, told you, every time we said, "Ma'am," somebody condemned us. They they basically oh their comments is we're doing too much. We want to make everything racism. Please come around here, mind my kid this time because mm -hmm. they really have to see your color. Please, mind. Hello, I'm going to introduce y'all to my mom. She's just going to say hello. Please, mother, Hi. lean over so they can see your color, please. All the way. I mean, straight there, color, ma'am. You see, my that's my mother. And I'm upset about it, too. Okay. That's the color of my mother. I just showed you. So it's not like we're trying to put no racism in. I have a whole, excuse me, white mother. So let's just keep it real. This is bigger than this. This is bigger than our family. This is something been going on for years. And everybody said it's getting better. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's getting swept under the rug. And they want family like us to be stupid and dumb. They want us to be stupid and dumb. That's why nobody reached out to us yet for any type of help. And it's going on 7 o'clock. The NAACP supposed to have been called us as well. Let's keep it real. So let me ask you this. I saw the the school is closed for the next couple of days. Was that already scheduled or did they just do this? No, ma'am. You know what because happened? It it's because social media got in there and they said they wanted to call the principal and ask them what was going on in that picture. And they had so many phone calls today that they had to shut the phones down and end up shutting the school because they said they don't have no answers for no one. If it was just a play or just you showing them with a sheet, what's going on? Let's talk about it. Explain to us what happened. Let's let's talk about it. Let somebody talk about it. Let somebody from the school be a representative and come to the family and say, look, let's sit down and talk. Maybe y'all took it out of context. And and guess what? You can't take that picture out of context. I mean, even if it's, it was butterflies around his neck. You still wasn't supposed to put nothing around his neck, whatever color he was. Even if that was a Caucasian little five-year-old Caucasian little boy, they wasn't supposed to put nothing around his neck. Period. Mm. Period. Look at it. Look at it. Because of this reason, if you look at it, you can take this picture however you want to take it. Now, just like our neighbor said, which he said he was born and raised a cab, he said that is the shepherd's staff. He said, oh, but they just show you where to guide the sheep. I said, yes, sir. You're absolutely right, sir. He said, but I have never seen nobody portray it and put it around a child's neck. He said, why he couldn't allow another child mm -hmm. to demonstrate, even if he was the one holding the stick. He said, why the child didn't hold the stick? And that makes a lot of sense. If you're just doing a little fake play, why did he have to be the one? And then my nephew is using the word, he dragged me down the aisle. So drag and walk is two different words. And he know the difference. And he said he dragged me. And he also said it hurt in his neck. He also That's said true. it hurt. So they running from addressing this. So they just shut down the school because now everybody knows it's St. Peter's Elementary School at 7910 Bel Air Road, Nottingham, Maryland, 21236. Phone yes, number 410 I'm going to put that information on the screen, especially the phone number in just a I second. Really appreciate because it. I do think something should be done. And the fact that they can't even issue you an apology just based off of the optics, because it doesn't look right. Even if they right. meant no harm, right? It's yes, not the intention, it's the impact. And this impact is negative, everything right. but positive. And the fact that they can't even be Christian-like and, and apologize for the way that it looks and the offense that some or many may have taken, I feel like that speaks volumes. And now they just ducking and dodging the phone and closing yeah. the school. So you got yeah. some students at this school who aren't learning anything for the next couple of days because the school don't have enough uh, 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 genitalia to take accountability mm -hmm. for what they've done. Mm -hmm. Right. What's supposed to be a quote unquote honest mistake. Exactly. I, you know, like this just doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't sit right with me. So, okay. and like I said, no one really, to be honest, ma'am, like the news is reaching out because, of course, everybody want to get the story out. No one still has gave us any resources. 
No one has like, okay, well, even if we are doing too much, maybe send us some counseling, maybe counsel us about this shepherd staff. You know, no one has reached out at all to, to like, say for instance, we don't, we're not educated enough to understand what's going on. Why even nobody, even for the public is reaching out? Like nobody. Like I said, the news are the, the the news is reaching out because they want to put the story out. But then you got people that's commenting and all that. What I, I'm pretty sure they know lawyers or whatever the case may be. But nobody is shining light on this school at all to the point where we even as a family or community can even get together and stand in front of the school and let them know that yes, we are aware of this situation, right or wrong. However they feel, whether it's right or wrong, we can come together and at least say, why did you do this? But no, everybody just either want the story out or put it on their social media just to say whether it's a good comment or a bad comment. They not Nobody is helping my nephew at the end of the day because they don't care. They think this is the normal now. This is the normal. And this is not the normal. Our children shouldn't be raised to think that this is supposed to be the normal. Because just like their kids can be raised in a nice school and bring up a nice atmosphere, our children can too. It's simple as that. Our children is allowed. Do you know our black communities even condemning my sister for him going to a private school? They even yep. know why you go to a private school. Come on, we need to get it together. She wanted a good education for her son. She thought she was giving him a better opportunity. That's all she thought she could give him a better opportunity. Right. But and stuff like this even for that. So uh, what do you, you know, some, some, sometimes we can be we can be so divisive as a community sometimes. Not all of us and not all the time, but sometimes they just move the goalposts and they have no clue how to really curate meaningful and relevant dialogue to a problem. That's why people say on social media all the time, black people ain't had a serious conversation since the civil rights movement. Because and that's so true. <laughs> like, that's so public, true. I mean, I went to a public school and there was plenty of effed up things that happened. Teachers, you know, having inappropriate relationships with the kids. So, you know, mistreatment and people preying on your five-year-old child can happen in a public or a private school. Like, that's that's just crazy to me. It's crazy. So you read, I'm sorry, you read over a hundred, maybe over a thousand comments. And it hurt you as a family for not one of them comments to say that, like, dang, is he all right? Like, you know, I know the social media, or I know this is the news, I know this is that. But that little boy in that picture is a real little boy right there. That's a real little boy, and he has a beautiful personality, and he is so educated and so smart, and now he really thinks he did something wrong, and he did so much to try to fit into that school. I mean, to be honest, to put it out there as a black child tried to fit in there, he went through so much, and for them to do this to him, and nobody wants out of them thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of comments out of anyone that hit us from the news or whatever. Not one comment said, well, Dad, how does the little boy feel? Mm -hmm. You know, like, what do he understand about slavery? What do he understand about this stick around his neck? And the only thing a five-year-old can see that this guy dragged them, him, not nobody else in this class, dragged him down the aisle with a stick while a whole bunch of white people laughed in the background. A whole bunch of white people that don't look nothing like him while he was dragged down the aisle with this shepherd stick, because he was a sheep. <laughs> he was a sheep. And that's the part that gets me. If y'all felt like y'all were having such a beautiful moment, play, production, y'all would have photos of the other kids. You that's would. Because you, you would want to capture it. Other 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 parents would want to see it. Y'all mm -hmm. would want to have the memories, put them on, on the wall, photo album, however it is that they they aggregate their, their their memories of what's going on academically each semester or each year. Y'all would have these things, but now y'all are withholding them. You've deleted like, where's them. Other pictures? Because... Okay, so if they would have showed us maybe two frames before this, maybe it's, okay, he's walking with other kids. Okay, they intertwining with other children. Okay, it's not just him. Or show, let's not just get this stuck in our head like this is like showing you a, a, a birth that happened and you done missed the birth. Think mm -hmm. about it. I mean, 
say again, and let's say in their defense, before this picture, everybody was having fun. Why can't you educate us and show us that? Let's see it. Let's see it. You know, let's see. Let's let's see the fun y'all was having because the teacher text wrote the bishop came and 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 this and this looked is so cute. Where's the other cuteness? Show me the pictures before this. Show me the even the pictures after this. Where they at? We asked for those. There's none. None that they're willing to give. I'm I'm sure they exist, but you know they not they not willing to 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 fork them over because they know there's some there's some there's some fault there. And what is wrong with calling us and saying now you're not going to miss fault by just saying, "Well, yes, we was having a play with the chef. Well, maybe you took it wrong, ma'am. Maybe we could sit down and just explain to you what we was doing. What's wrong with that?" Mm -hmm. What's what's wrong with ask, saying? Can we sit down and talk to at least tell you what we did in this picture? What's wrong with that? Yeah, I'm just. It's no. It's everybody commenting on negative mm -hmm. stuff, but like I said, nobody wants comment to help my nephew. Oh, no one called to say, okay, well, I'll help him get into a new school or better school or whatever. You know, this school is being paid for by the mom. You know, like come on. Yeah, I, at the very least, I know there's a, only a little bit of school left, but I would feel like I would pull my kid out and I would want to be prorated for the days. Oh, he's out. Oh, he ain't going back unless I sit in the class with him. And I know, and I'll be there every day. And they don't want me sitting there because I probably walk in with this. I'm, see, this is a whole nother program. But I'm just saying, let's be professional. I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, he's not going back. That's number one. And they still going to be held some type of accountability for this. It's simple as that. We can't, if we let it go, then what's going to happen to the next child? They mm -hmm. probably get drugged like by them chains that they threatened my nephew with. Chains? Threatened? Well, when he came home after the situation, he asked his mom, was they going to put them chains on him? What chains? Mm. What chains? And then when we asked around, what was the chains about? They would say, oh, that was just talking about like like bondage together. To teach them how to be bonded together. Mm -mm. That don't mean that. Mm -mm. That mm -mm. don't. No. That don't mean that. I asked someone, what do that mean? And they said, oh, it's supposed to mean bondage, bonded together. I don't know what it really means. That's what someone told me it means. Oh trying to navigate this i cannot um okay so i'm trying to understand like okay what's been done but it's it seems like it's been a little difficult to make progress the school not answering the phone they're not issuing an apology they didn't shut I down asked, for the can i schedule a meeting with them today they said oh well you know the outrage just caused um school will be closing for three days Oh. And they might can and they might can squeeze me in tomorrow. Might. Mm. Mm. So I guarantee you. Wouldn't you want to quickly resolve this? Especially now. This is a this is a highly recommended school now. This ain't no just no around the corner throwaway school. This is a highly recommended school, and a lot of people even like going there. They even actually some of the people that that's colored that said there's a very good school, you know. So they do have good ratings. So why you don't want to keep your image up by coming, speaking to the family and just explaining to us what happened. Just explain to us, you know, maybe maybe you have to educate us a little bit more on maybe why we don't know why he was drugged down the aisle as a sheik. I just want to know. Mm -hmm. What's the tuition like there? How much? What's your name? The tuition. Um, it's 10000 I paid ten five. Ooh, a, a year? Yes. Baby, that's some college money. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but guess what? I pay a little over a thousand dollars. She just month. paid that for her son to get drugged down the aisle by a shepherd stick because he's a sheep. <laughs> he's a sheep. Lord. That's what school at the kid, but I took him out of at the kid as well from another situation. 
Oh, this is a lot. Because I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to understand and kind of like forecast the next steps. Like, how can we, the public, support and pile on to your efforts, y'all's efforts? Um, I know that y'all want people to call us. Well, I got the phone number on the screen. The name of the mm -hmm. school is on the screen. Um, mm -hmm. Based on the phone number and the name of the school, y'all can look and y'all can get the address. But I'm just like, what what can we do to help the, as the public? Think about it. If we was put in this situation right now, we had no clue of how to handle this or what to do. It has to be avenues for family, not just for this situation, but maybe similar situations that we need a phone number, a community, a, a reach out center. Some Somebody has a Black Lives Matter, somebody you reach out to to communicate because maybe it's not like i said maybe it's not about racism we also need someone to reach out to educate us about that maybe it's not maybe we need to be educated about a shepherd's mm -hmm. can someone like camp like we don't have a council you know a councilman or nothing reaching out like um nothing like nobody is communicating for us any type of help so I honestly, I can only say we need some more information out here. Maybe we need to be educated more as a community because we don't even have no reach out centers, no one to call. When something like this happened, the only thing you got is to hurry up and hit Instagram. And that's not good. Right. You know, that's not good because, you know, you get your negative energy. You got your positive energy from Instagram. But. That's how people is reaching out is through Instagram. And we shouldn't have to just post your business all over Instagram to get some type of counseling or help with this. Like, you shouldn't have to. Where's, where's the community have to say, you know what? I heard about your situation. Maybe it's the council office I heard about. If I could just drop a number to you so you could talk to you, maybe, you know, he because I'm pretty sure he's going to need counseling now. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. Because first of all, he don't even want to go back to school. That's for sure. You know, and and and, and he loves school. He loves every part of it. That's why he volunteered, as they say. Mm -hmm. But even a teacher will say, well, he volunteered for it. With that tone of voice, he volunteered for it. My nephew will volunteer to jump out of a plane if he can wear any type of costume. If you mm -hmm. told him he can jump out of a plane today, as long as you told him he can wear a cape, he gonna, he gonna say, yes, I want to jump out of a plane. But he didn't know what he was volunteering for. Right. He, he had no clue no, what he was volunteering for. He didn't know what he was volunteering for. That's why he was No, he thought he was going to put on a sheet costume. Costume. Oh. And so the man hooked him around his neck. So he hooked like, him around his neck and made him feel like Kuta Kinte. You see his face? You see his face? He like, he what, like is what is this? this? Yeah, is this the sheet? Right. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, just only thing I can ask is for us to get some type of resources, ma'am. Just someone to talk to. Like I said, good or bad, maybe we we looking at it wrong. Maybe maybe even the world looking at it wrong. But look what it's portraying of the year 2023. We still have this going on. Again, we just he just being walked by shepherd stick, mind you. But look what it shows. Right. So what can we do now? We need some research. We need somebody to reach out to us to say, well, this is what you could do, should do, maybe not do. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody from the school or hopefully hear this or whatever and say, well, they right. Maybe they do deserve an explanation. Maybe they could. We, we might not apologize, as he say, because he said he wasn't going to apologize. So maybe you can still explain to us that course of the day. Show us what happened before you drug them with it. Because, you know, I like church. Let, let me sit down and see that same feel. Mm -hmm. And maybe it'll educate me a little bit more. But other than that, I don't know what to say now. It's nothing else we can do because nobody is helping. Mm. Yeah, that really should be. I feel like each and every state should have a board where <clears throat> there's some racial insensitivity within academic environments where you can lean on them to help you navigate when your child has been mistreated based off of the color of their skin. Because it can be very overwhelming for, for a family when, when they experience something like this. I mean, you go to social media because that might be the medium to get 
it out to the masses. But after that, then what? When you're just dealing with hate mail from people and not so positive comments, like what's the real next course of action here? That's what I'm really trying to figure out. And it seems like we're both stuck. We're both stuck trying to right. understand how can we really move forward and get justice and really have something done? If we're not going to get an apology, then who's going to be held accountable for this? Cause this ain't right. And I mean, like, I totally understand you trying to be humble and like, Oh, well maybe it's not racism. Maybe we are looking at it wrong. That's them gaslighting you. This absolutely is color. It's, 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 it's race motivated. Period yes, point. Yes, There's no reason these photos look mm -hmm. so the same. There's no reason they can't show you uh, a, a child of no color being dragged down the aisle like this, let alone right. anybody else. And everybody's so right. happy to see that. No, right. they're trying to trick you into thinking that you're bugging and you're not bugging. <laughs> this is right. not okay in 2020. Yeah. Goddamn three. It's right. not okay. Right. Exactly. It's not okay. And we're not going to stand for it to be okay. One way or the other, if I got to spray paint the whole school to say this is not okay, it's not okay. It's really not. It's just somebody got to listen is what I'm saying. Somebody got to listen. And we try to make them listen the right way. Just make them listen. Just explain to me why he was a sheep out of the whole class. He said because he volunteered. Well, so did other classmates volunteer. So at the end of the day, a five-year-old going to volunteer. So you ex you showed me the play before this, after this. Even now, like, talk to us. They have not talked to us. So mm -hmm. what are you really hiding? If it was just as simple as they saying he walk, was walked with a, uh, um, as a sheep, why are they hiding something? Why are they still having to talk to us? It's not like, God forbid, my, my nephew is just not passed away or anything. We're as though we got to wait for the evidence. Mm -hmm. Why you have not talked to us to say, well, it was a play. It was this. What? Let us know what's going on. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah, it's giving it's given guilty. It's given we can't even give you X because we need to get our story straight. We need to figure out this or. Yeah. Um, what angle to take. Mm hmm. That's 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 what it's really given. Um, sadly. So if y'all have any resources. Um, in the chat and you watch me, y'all know how to contact me. Send it to my email. I'll forward it to them. Um, if y'all have any resources or any course of action. I saw some people in the um, chat suggesting the NAACP and she's already covered that um, where the NAACP was supposed to contact her at some point today. But it seems like they're either late doing so or it just hasn't or happened. investigating. Yeah. <laughs> So, or, or the story not big enough, ma'am. My nephew not big enough. He's only five. See, he he can't move no mountains and bring Al Sharpton. You understand? See, he mm -hmm. only five. But if this was their child, Al Sharpton be there. Somebody be there. Somebody at least the God is to say what to be. But guess what? My nephew not big enough. That's why the NWACP ain't reach out yet, because <laughs> they would have beat our phone down if it was an adult. Now, has he had any other incidents at that at that school that that were concerning? Let me racist. tell. I couldn't wait. It wasn't racist. It wasn't racist, but it was. It, it's something else that you would think back now that this happened. A couple of months ago, uh, my nephew came home complaining of his head was hurting. No, no. So, so when when he decided that when he came home. Um, she he got in the car. He said he, he hid his head in school. So my sister just thought it was just a regular kid thing, you know, it's okay. But after two hours, his head was still hurting. So she took him to the emergency room. Oh, he took him to emergency. My nephew had a concussion. Do you know the school never called and informed her that he even fell and hit his head? No. Mm. Till this day, they still have not called and explained to us why they haven't called her and told her her son hit his head. But by the time we took him to the hospital, he had a concussion. And this is on record and on paper, everything you're saying. Everything. <laughs> what school the don't teacher, call and tell you that they The teacher hurt? sent a letter home in his book bag and it said she was piggyback riding him on his back and dropped him on his head. And so you called the insurance company to take mm. And so I'm like, oh, um, well, he had to stay the night in, in the hospital and he had to, you know, seek treatment at the you know, can y'all at least help cover these medical bills? She said, take it up with your insurance company. 
Hmm. And that's all we was told. And that's it. Hmm. But who don't call you um when it happened and tell you that your child fell and hit their head? Like, who don't do that? Any school is supposed to tell you, any child, your child hurt their stuff in their stuff, they're supposed to call the parents right away. They mm -hmm. never did. They never did. It so seems that's like just very another. negligent. So it, it make you think back, was that on purpose? What was was that on purpose? I don't know. Again, it just makes you ask more questions. I feel like that just speaks to that negligence and lack of accountability at that spot. That's that 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 that's crazy to me. That's crazy. That's why I took them out of active care. Right. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, active care was held there. So no, he don't go to school no more. But I'm, no, I took him out of active care first because when of that concussion. happened. Oh, okay. Now I'm taking him out of school because of this. Hmm. This is I, I just I, I can't I I don't I don't know how parents stay calm um with this I don't I don't have any kids I'm all trying. I have you want to know how because everybody call you and look on social media everybody's got it all up and down the page burn the school down and then we go going to jail man think about right. it right everybody's they, like go up there and beat them up like us to go up there and bust the windows out they want us to come up there and right. destroy property right they want us to be the nigga that's in that picture being pulled by a stick. Mm -hmm. That's what they want us to do. And I'm not giving them that joy. That's what we're not. We're not going to be the picture to the left. You understand? Mm -hmm. We're not going to be them. And they expected us to come up there and burn the school down. But no, we, we're going to burn these books down in this education and learn what we can do the right way. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. We're going to hit them where it hurts. Whereas though every person that walks through that school, even if they don't take their child out, you still gonna question, is your child safe here? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what's gonna happen. Each black person that even drop their kid off and think it's cool because that wasn't their child, it was somebody else's, you gonna still think when you drive off, dang, is my child gonna be all right? You gonna be at work already in your shift, ready to call out because you scared what they about to do to your child next in that school. Mm -hmm. So... We can keep throwing this under the rug and we're just some nobodies. Ain't nobody know us. We not no Kardashians. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you got to be somebody to get some type of noise out here because at the end of the day, look at the picture. But everybody's saying we're doing too much. So it is what it is. Whatever happened from today, again, like I said, they was expecting us to go up there and rip them doors down. And mm -hmm. then anybody don't know us, we would have, but we're doing it the right way. Yeah, You're doing it the right way. Can't blame That's you. I mean, right it, it, it takes a lot. The right way. To, <laughs> it takes a lot to have self control when you feel so disrespected. Mm -hmm. it did. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and especially when your child's been disrespected. That's even a little worse than you being disrespected because you take that a little more personal. So to maintain that type of self control mm -hmm. and decorum. Um, it, 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 it can take a lot. And, and then your emotions and trying to find a course of action when you feel like you don't have any help. I really can only empathize with you even asking these questions. I'm like, dang, we, we really don't know what we're going to do. Like, y'all don't know what y'all going to do. I'm not sure what I can do to help. I don't know if a petition would help, a change.org petition would help. Um, it's, I, I just only wish there was I more. Can, I only thing I can honestly say is whatever anybody come up with is a suggestion, especially a good suggestion. Write it down, email it, do whatever they can do. I mean, like I said, I honestly still want to know. I want to know if this for real. Like, okay, is it really what the pictures show? Or he's walking the sheep. Come on, let's everybody write me a letter and say that was a really a, a little boy walking with a I mean as a sheep. And I will believe it. But you cannot tell me that's what that picture shows it's you. Not. If I showed that picture to a million people, they wouldn't say he's walking the sheep. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, if if I show that to a million people, just show it to them. We ain't gonna tell them it was a school or nothing. We show it to them. They would say, well, "What was he doing?" They're not gonna never, not once, say it's a sheep. Mm -hmm. Because even even if it was a sheep, why he didn't have like a costume on? Why you didn't put it around his ankle? Why you ain't just say this to Shepherd Stick? 
and he walk in front of it because this is the shepherd's bed. Right. So what we need now is just like I said, just some education, man. We know how it is. We just gotta know. We we'll, we have not dealt with this before. Ain't nobody dragged nobody with no stick down no step before unless we did it. <laughs> you know, like somebody gotta like educate us. That's all of this. You know, we yeah, we definitely had to be enlightened. Yeah. I think a petition might help, and I wouldn't mind helping to put the petition together. You know, once they see if you know you get a couple thousand signatures and people really yes, not ma'am. know, and it ruins it. If they don't want to give you answers, and this at this point, it's it's y'all are complicit with what has happened, and it's time that your reputation suffers and that people know the true colors behind this. Um, you know, religious academic environment. It's time that people know about it. And maybe when it start hurting your pockets, when you can't get these mm-hmm. students in here $10,000 a pop, maybe then you'll be more responsible with your stuff. So I, I know definitely, some people- Definitely, probably- definitely. And we asked, oh, um, someone commented on a social media and said, um, I guess it, it's obviously a teacher or someone goes there. He said, oh, he, he's, a, he's a good teacher. She says he do it every year. So me and the parents said, let's see the pictures. Mm-hmm. This person commented and said, he yeah, does this every year. So why? Listen, this is a school that, that, that you pay money. Where is the photos of last year? Because look, they could have been shut us up two days ago. With, I mean, yesterday with, with, with just a picture of one other child. Just one of them. Just show me one more. She mm-hmm. said they do that every year. Well, where's the picture mm-hmm. from last year to get for that? Show them to us. We asked them for the more pictures of the yesterday. Of yesterday. They said they don't have no more pictures. So when the person come in and said about all the that they got, um, he do it every year. Where is the pictures? Where's the pictures? Show me one picture. Show me one. Just one. They, they don't, don't have, have none. none. They don't have none. Exactly. They don't have none. Why you think they can't present them? They can't present them. None. They don't have them. But he do this every year, though. But show them what for last year, then. Just Mm -hmm. last year. I ain't even tell you go back two years. Show me just last year's pictures. There's none. No, they're not going to show. There's none. Do you? Is it? Is it possible for you all to? Um, contact a lawyer by any chance? We have, we have reached out to two lawyers and we, well, no, excuse me, let me say it right. One lawyer reached out to us and sent us uh, a text message or a DM or something. And then we reached out to one and we're waiting on both of them because both of them saying they waiting to see, see what to do. So we're waiting for word from two lawyers and it's... <laughs> That's another funny tell. story, but my nephew is not big enough for sweetheart. He's only five. Nobody right. trying to help him. <laughs> right. Ain't nobody trying to help him. Because they're going to sweep this under the rug. He's just another black kid, sweetheart, dragged with a stick. That's how they're going to portray us. But my nephew is bigger than that. He's going to be great. He might be the next Obama. And he did want to be Lamar Jackson. So, so it's between Lamar Jackson mm-hmm. and the next Obama. But that's what my nephew is going to be. He's going to be great. And I definitely, he's still going to be great past this what's going on. He's so smart, so educated. He's so impressionable. If you meet him, you, you will understand, even if you just say three words to him, you will understand his personality. He is so soft-spoken. And when stuff like this happens, it really, he asks questions. He really gets upset. He really gets upset. Do you know how upset he was? Just uh, he, he finally had to be Lamar John Ravens, ma'am. He went off because that's how impressive he is. He said, Oh, we finally going to get to keep Lamar. That's how smart he is. Lamar mm-hmm. Jackson, you know, he's very educated. Mm-hmm. So we just, we just, like you said, if anybody can reach out with the resources. Maybe some lawyers or something that people would know to handle a situation like this. And we definitely, definitely going to keep you updated. Mm. Um, 
Yeah, I do. I have one resource I can give, and it's really just for general general advice. Um, but I can give that to you behind the scenes for a network of attorneys um, who can point you in the right direction for um, getting some help with a situation like this. I'm not sure if it's, it's going to solve the problem, but if they aren't able to help, they can point you in the direction of where you should be looking and I don't mind tagging the people all for the rest of the night and all tomorrow, Mayor Brandon, Scott, whoever else, to help get the word out. And um, I will um, try to put a petition together if y'all are open to that so that y'all can garner um, we really, some we, we are open to any suggestions. Got yeah. you. Got you. Um, I am what I am. Thank you so much for the two dollars super sticker. Let me see what her comment says. Slave trading equipment was modeled after animal domestication implements. All to say the situation is racist from top to bottom. I agree. I do agree with that. That's a great comment. That's so um, true. That's so true. Yeah. You know, so for them trying to make it seem like it's it's oh it was it's just a sheep stab. Okay, well y'all went from equipment to work with animals to how y'all ended up oppressing us with said same instruments. So I don't think it's as as, as cut and clear as um, as they're saying. And, and, it is. and as innocent as they making it look, it's not right. innocent. It's not at um, all. Hello, hello, I'm the other aunt, real quick, but. All I'm going to say is the guy was like, oh, the I can priest. very much, the, the priest. priest, the priest, sorry. I can very much um, about Bishop Bill, Bishop Bill um, he had, he adopted three kids and that was African American, that he's not racist, but it ain't no racist by it. So, um, I'm so sorry. Anyway, he sh and then he showed the picture, and it was how many people was it? There was one to say it was one white watch out and three black children on the picture, but the bishop wasn't in the picture with the with the with the kids. So, so and it wasn't. He said the guy Bishop Bill just sent them. Real quick, he said that the guy. Uh, Bishop, Bishop Bill's Bill's like Bishop just sent it and said if this photo helped, but the whole time it wasn't in his messages, it was in his photos. photos. As if he just did a church event and, and took a picture of random kids. Three black kids and a white kid. And then his excuse to say is, oh, Bishop adopted three black kids. Racist people oh, adopt no. kids, uh, black kids every day. Okay, for a paycheck. You know, for a paycheck. <laughs> Child, that, that don't mean you're loving and caring and nurturing for that child. And for him to for him to bring that up, it's bigger than what we're saying about a shit Because why did you show me a picture of the black kids and the white kids? Why you ain't drag one of the black kids down the whole aisle? You have. Mm -hmm. yeah. If that's the typical way down the aisle. That's the typical way to deflect. As soon as you call out racism, what you perceive to be racism from a non-black person is I would have I would have voted for Obama a third time. I have black friends. I had a black exactly. that doesn't that that well, that's, I got that's, black not, best that's not proving anything. I got and three instead black of a black you really cared about the quote unquote black kids that you adopted, you would understand the impact of this imagery, even if you didn't mean for it to come off that way. You will fall on the sword and you would apologize because, well, now you got black children that you supposedly give a fuck about, right? So it, it just, it all just seems like deflection, in my opinion, from them. And the fact that they, they, he's not going to apologize and da da da, but he's got black. Oh no, y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all know y'all wrong. At, at this point, we've yeah. seen all that we needed to see. They, they've already shown us who they are, in, in, in my opinion, right. via their actions here. Right. It's, it's not okay. It is not okay. Right. Um, I'm just thank grateful you, that you, thank you for joining the membership. The I'm grateful that everyone. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It, the it, the service was breaking up a little bit. 
Yeah, it's breaking up. So say thank you for even listening to our story. We really at least appreciate that call. Down. And I appreciate your audience for listening because again, we just don't have no avenue right now. So at least at least y'all listening. So good or bad, I still would like to get counseling. Like good or bad. Like tell me what I'm doing wrong or saying wrong. Maybe I can educate myself on my family to say it's appreciated. No problem. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you sharing. I know you might feel vulnerable, especially with some of these these people talking online. It's a lot. I think our phone just cut out, or is it still there? Let me see. No, we listen. It's, it's about to. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, but we will, st I will stay in contact with you behind the scenes. If there's anything that people send to me, email to me or whatever, I'll shoot it over to you in the, um, in the DMs, the way that we've been speaking. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help in any way I can. Yeah, and if I need to come so back much. to the platform, really no problem. And if I need to come back and use it again, whether it's about the, uh, the petition, if, if that's something y'all decide to do or whatever, I'm more than willing Four to use my platform again. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And we'll give you a follow-up, let you know everything's what's going on, and we'll keep you in tune, too, because we appreciate you. No problem. I hope y'all have an amazing evening. I hope y'all are able to find some, some peace somehow in, in all of this this week. It's almost Friday, but I know y'all are still going through it, so I do still wish y'all peace. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. No problem. You Thank too. You. Thank you. Welcome. And thank, thank you, audience, as well. <laughs> no problem. Have a good one. Okay. All right. Okay. So that was that was a real crazy story. I just can't even believe it's 2023. I don't know how I would react if they was treating my Leo like that or my kid like that, baby. I, I would be in a whole uh I know the service got a little spotty somewhere towards the end, but they were definitely exploiting, well, preying on that child's innocence. Very predatory behavior, right? Child want to be a sheep, so you going to drag them down an aisle with the daggone um, a, a shepherd's cane? Like, that's just too much. Shout out to Andrea Elizabeth for the two ninety nine. dollars Okay. Super sticker. I appreciate that, and thank you to everybody who joined the membership. Um... I'm pretty sure I didn't get any cash apps because that's not anything that I was advertising because it's, this isn't about me really getting cash apps or benefiting in any type of way. This is about creating more awareness uh, about this situation and stuff like this happening in any in any school or, or church environments in general to black people. OK, um, thank you for enlightening us. Y'all are more than welcome. Yes, the school is very dark sided. I, I, I've never even heard of that school um, until today, but when I saw that this was something that had happened in the proximity of the Baltimore area, whatever the case is, I'm like, oh, hell no. Let's talk about it, because that's not right. That's not right putting that young baby up like that. Look at this. This looks no different from this, this, this slavery image right here. It looks no different. They knew what they were doing. They knew exactly what they were doing. This is heartbreaking. It's beyond heartbreaking, as a matter of fact. So um, it's really important that you all spread the word. I know sometimes this is it's, it's, it's a viral story, right? But it still needs more, more mainstream, right? This is the first time that they've spoken out. And also, yes, your girl got the exclusive, but it sucks that videos like this don't do as many numbers as me sitting here just shooting the crap about a celebrity, Right. So it would mean so much to me. And of course, the family, if you could like this video, share this video. And again, it's not about giving me anything, but the more engagement, the more shares, the more comments that this video gets, whether it be in the live chat or underneath, if you're watching the replay and chasing the bus, 
the more engagement it gets, the more it pushes it into the algorithm. And I think the more we see examples like this, the more we'll be able to formulate a definitive solution, organizations, formulate the organizations that we can really lean on when we are lost as parents raising children. Hell, there might even be older siblings raising younger siblings. A parent may not be in the picture, right? There are plenty of times where you got older siblings raising younger siblings and you don't know where to turn to or what to do when you're faced with a microaggression or some blatant racism that they'll tell you, oh, you're putting color into it. It wasn't that. It was an innocent act. And you're left, you know, to think, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do now? Do I send them back to the school? Do I pull them out of school? They're just going to be, who do I, am I going too hard if I just trash this school? Should I be writing my governor? Is my governor going to read these letters and my councilman? Like, what is there to do? There was no handbook on things like this. But there should be some justice that these families are able to attain. And better yet, there should, should, should be some accountability that these faulty administrators have to take when things like this take place. This is not okay. And we know it's not okay, but what we going to do? I mean, for them to be as bold as, well, he's not going to apologize, but he adopted some black kids. So you should chill on that racism stuff. Excuse me. They just shut the school down for the next couple of days because they don't want to deal with the backlash on social media. Hmm. Interesting. It's given very much guilty to me, in my opinion. It's given very much dark sided. And to think that this is going on in a religious institution merged with a church. So this is not only a school, but this is a church too. And these Lutheran people can't just apologize and say, I apologize for the offense that was given off because that's, that's, not, that's not what we meant to do. And if they can't apologize and say, that's not what we meant to do, although that's how it came off, then it means what? It means they absolutely meant to do it. That's what they meant to do. So I put the phone number on the screen. I'll put it back on the screen again. Where'd it go? So they're going to be closed the next couple of days because they just don't want to deal with this backlash. I guess they hope they're thinking that it's just going to blow over. But we should definitely call on Monday and Tuesday or Wednesday. Blow it up. I even have the name of the teacher. Let me go ahead and see. The name of the teacher is the teacher that sent her. This is Miss Corley. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and show y'all. All right, let's take a look. So you can see the original message that she got from Miss Carly. Corley Carly says, Bishop came in the chapel today and your son volunteered to be a sheep. Laughing emoji. It was so cute. Okay, so that's the name of the teacher. We've got the name of the school. And as a matter of fact, one time for the one time, I'm going to just go ahead and put it on the screen for you all. So that y'all can see. This is the name and location of the school. St. Peter's Elementary School, 7910 Belair Road, Nottingham, Maryland, 21236. And also the phone number is there as well, which I also have on the screen. Okay. So make some moves. Let's turn up. Let's 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 make it a point. And in addition to calling on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and really all the next week, let's just see who we can contact with the imagery, whether it be Ben Crump, Al Sharp, and I get it. Ben Crump, he can be everybody people have an opinion, right? But sometimes he is actually able to wake things up, right? So 
let's just see what we can do, who we can tag and make as many efforts as possible. And especially if you're in the Baltimore area, you know, our mayors and our governors and our, our, our councilmen and different things like that. Um, if you want to share this video, please do with those people. But if not, just sharing the images is enough. So I was excited and I made sure to um, put some time aside and make time for this um, this household and these people who have had to deal with this. And I've been seeing the hate that they've been getting online and I just really don't feel like the hate is warranted. Um, but this 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 is what happened yesterday here in Baltimore. And to think that this is a Lutheran educational facility is crazy. It's crazy. They they need some. They they need to to, to take accountability for this, um, and, and they need the consequences and repercussions because you shouldn't be able to just do this and get away with it. Even if they just gave an apology, I don't even feel like the apology would be enough. But just like when you go to court, if there's a little remorse, if it seems like you're being humane about it, you know, people will be like, okay, they care. So let's just move on. But they don't even care. So. There's hella racial undertones here. The texture, the nuance, everything. It's it's just too much. It's too much. Okay? And that whole excuse, I've adopted black kids. There's no way I did anything wrong to your kids. Save it. Save it. Okay? I bet they asked him if he would like to volunteer. Not really the same as volunteering. It's, it, it's a lot. Two words, civil suit. We could hope. It's not as easy for everybody to... to retain a lawyer and file a civil suit, right? Because you got to make sure it's done right. Got to make sure you're not wasting your time. And if you're representing yourself in a suit that's discrimination-based and race-based, you, at least I, I can speak for Marilyn, you may not want to represent yourself in a case like that. You need somebody that's a hard hitter and a heavy hitter and that knows what they're doing. And everybody doesn't have the funds set up to do so. So it's a lot easier said than done, which is why I can totally understand why and how this family is just asking for some direction, some guidance, some resources, because they've never been through this before. So thank you all so much for watching this exclusive Um I was anxious to get this out. I had this in the works for y'all earlier today, but I didn't want to announce it in case anything happened and it didn't transpire. That's why it's really important that y'all uh, not only subscribe to the channel, but hit the notification bell. Because y'all know you're going to be over here in Baltimore getting getting the syrup and, and really speaking to the natives. And you could even hear in the, in the way that they were talking that we're, we're all from right here in the same area. So I definitely wanted to reach out and, and make sure that we gave some awareness to this situation. We will be live a little bit later today. I'm trying to figure out if I want to eat and then go live. Um, but essentially, I think that we're going to be going through these R. Kelly text messages um, later on this evening. The messages between Asriel Clary and, uh, and Alice Clary, they're really disgusting. I mean, they're extremely egregious. So I do believe that that is going to be our second live for this evening. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I am sending y'all positivity, good vibes, and all that stuff. As always, y'all know I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up as you exit the buzz. If you leave your Gucci slides on here, don't come ask me for them tomorrow because baby, they mine. If you drop that $10 bill out your back pocket, baby, don't come asking me for it tomorrow because it is mine. Okay? <laughs> so, um, look, if you're looking for ways to support the show, consider just hitting the thumbs up button. All right? You can send a cash app if you want to, or you could just subscribe to the channel. But I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for checking the community tab. And thank you for subscribing to my backup channel, the TPJ Network. I'm going to get off here so I can come back. It is 747 over here in Baltimore right now. We will be back in less than an hour. All right. Turn your notifications on. When you hit the notification bell, make sure you change it to all, not just personalized. All notifications, you want to make sure you are notified when the syrup is spilling over. Yeah. 
okay? Drop some pancakes in the chat and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Deuces. But that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.